Geometric Acoustics, also known as Ray Acoustics or Ray Tracing, is a branch of acoustics that deals with predicting the behavior of sound waves in the high frequency limit. In this limit, sound waves are treated as rays that travel in straight lines, similar to light rays in geometric optics. This approach is very useful for understanding sound propagation in large-scale environments, like outdoor spaces, concert halls, and architectural venues. The history of geometric acoustics can be traced back to the study of optics by ancient Greek scholars like Euclid, Hero of Alexandria, and Al-Hazan. In the 17th century, Sir Isaac Newton's works on light and sound rays laid the foundation for the modern study of geometric acoustics. However, it was later overshadowed by wave-based theories, which gained prominence with the development of mathematical physics in the 19th and 20th centuries. Sacred geometry, on the other hand, is rooted in the belief that certain geometric shapes and proportions hold spiritual or divine significance. This ancient concept can be found in various cultures and belief systems, including ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, and various Eastern philosophies. Sacred geometry often involves the study of specific shapes, like circles, squares, triangles, and ratios, like the golden ratio, pi. Shapes with spiritual meaning are believed to have mystical properties, and they're commonly used in religious art, architecture, and symbolism. Architects and artists have integrated sacred geometric principles into the design of sacred places. Believing that these shapes can evoke profound spiritual experiences and connect the physical realm with higher realms of consciousness. Interestingly, the Sydney Opera House serves as a relevant example of the intersection between geometric acoustics and sacred geometry. This iconic performing arts venue was designed by Danish architect Jorn Utzon and opened in 1973. While geometric acoustics was employed in the design process to ensure optimal sound reflections and diffusions within its concert halls, the overall architectural form of the Sydney Opera House also reflects elements of sacred geometry. The building's distinctive sail-shaped shells, inspired by Utzon's study of natural forms, they exhibit geometric principles reminiscent of sacred geometry. The use of spherical geometry combined with the golden ratio can be observed in the relationship between the sail's height and the central support columns. These geometric figures not only contribute to the structural stability of the building, but also add a sense of awe and spiritual significance into the architectural design. So, getting back to geometric acoustics. In the 19th century, Lord Raylan, John William Strutt, made substantial advancements in acoustics. He formulated the theory of sound scattering and diffraction, and contributed to the understanding of wave phenomena. Although ray acoustics became dominant for a time, wave-based theories, such as the wave equation, it gained prominence in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. It was only with the advent of powerful computers in the latter half of the 20th century that ray acoustics made a resurgence. Numerical methods and ray tracing algorithms enabled more complex and accurate simulations of sound propagation in various environments. In outdoor sound propagation, geometric acoustics is used to predict how sound propagates in open spaces, urban environments, and over large distances. For instance, it helps in understanding how traffic noise spreads in a city, or how sound from outdoor concerts reaches different areas. In architectural acoustics, geometric acoustics is employed to analyze how sound waves interact with the surfaces of a room, such as walls, ceilings, and floors. This knowledge is crucial in designing concert halls, auditoriums, conference rooms, and other performance spaces to achieve optimal sound quality and minimize acoustic issues like echoes and reverb. When planning highways or railways near residential areas, geometric acoustics helps design effective noise barriers to reduce the impact of noise pollution on the nearby communities. In understanding how sound waves interact with natural and artificial obstacles like mountains, buildings, fences, it allows for the prediction of sound shadow zones and the disruption of sound in complex outdoor environments. Geometric acoustics is even applied in underwater environments to simulate sound propagation and scattering for applications like sonar systems 
and underwater communication. In the entertainment industry, geometric acoustics is used to create realistic sound environments in virtual reality and augmented reality experiences, enhancing the user's immersion. It's important to note that while geometric acoustics provides valuable insights in certain situations, it's limited to high-frequency sound waves, and it does not account for wave phenomena like diffraction and interference, which become significant at lower frequencies. Therefore, in many scenarios, a combination of geometric acoustics and wave-based theories is required for comprehensive understanding of sound propagation. Now, Geometric acoustics and sacred geometry? They're two amazing and intriguing concepts with rich histories and unique applications. And while they are distinct in their origins and methodologies, they do converge in certain architectural contexts where sacred geometric principles are integrated into the design to create both a spiritually meaningful and acoustically optimized space. The Sydney Opera House, it stands as a remarkable example of how these two concepts can come together to create an iconic and harmonious architectural masterpiece that captivates the senses and resonates with the human spirit. These are Interesting Things with Jay Z.